All right, hello and welcome everybody to another InventRight.com TV show. If you don't know what we do, Stephen Key and myself and all our coaches have been coaching inventory inventors for the last 15 years. Go to InventRight.com, click on coaching to learn more. Stephen, as usual, I let you surprise me. You are the bringer of the topic, so I don't know what topic we're doing. Go for it, man. Oh, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> I want to talk, well, first of all, I wrote this article for <laughs> entrepreneur.com. Yeah. It's about the the crucial moment. In fact, here's the title of it. You guys, if you haven't if you haven't read this or if you're not connected with with us on entrepreneur.com, please do because we write these articles, great tips and advice, but it's the critical moment that separates the pros from the amateurs when it comes oh, to the license. critical not the things you do but the critical moment. It's the, it's the critical moment that separates the pros from the amateurs when you're licensing your ideas. Okay. Now, everybody, you know, when you, when you first start doing this, you know, I hear this all the time. Well, I'm not quite sure if I can do it. Everybody has a little self-doubt. You start submitting ideas to companies and you get those rejections. Everybody letters. doesn't know, like, some a next-door neighbor that's made a ton of money licensing products, maybe in real estate or the stock market or something like that. And so there's a little bit of doubt in their mind. Well, there's always a little bit of doubt, but what happens, you, you do get in the game, you're watching our videos, or you're becoming a student of ours, or you're reading the book One Simple Idea, but the bottom line is you're in the game. And guess what? Your sell sheet looks pretty good, you contacted a company, but you're getting, you're really getting rejections. The companies so, aren't interested. No, they're not interested. Okay. And that separates the pros from the amateurs right there. That moment. But what you're saying is that's a good thing. That's what I well, hear you saying. What I'm saying is this is your opportunity to, from being an amateur to being a pro. Okay, got it. That is that defining moment. And you can do well, two things. You can, okay. You could just give up, right? And a lot of people I know out there probably do. You know, no. They give up. They're frustrated, or, or who knows what. You know, and or you can look at this as an opportunity. This is an obstacle, but you can turn it around for an opportunity. You've heard me talk about this before, and you know this is this is what I love about this whole process. There's always going to be these things thrown in front of you, and you can look at them two different ways. And I would prefer to I would prefer to look at them as an opportunity. And this is your opportunity to become a pro. Mm -hmm. And this is what I want you to do. Okay. When, when you get that rejection letter, don't try to argue about it. Right? You don't have to accept that, it. That's, that's definitely not being a pro if you do that. No, oh my God. You, don't have to, you don't have to accept it or try to convince the person they're wrong. Don't do that. Accept no. that in no. their eyes, something's not quite right. Right. All right. Perfect. So you should do this. You should ask for some feedback. Most of the times you won't get it, but ask anyway. Well, but, but the percentage you do, it can be very valuable. And if you never ask, they, they won't give it to you unsolicited most of the time. Yeah, right? there, there's quite a few companies out there that will actually tell you. And they might say, hey, it's not the right fit, or maybe we're not going in that right direction, or maybe it's an idea we've already seen and we've passed. But mm -hmm. take that information and, and realize, hey, this is, this is really good stuff and I'm going to use it to resubmit my idea or be creative now to change my idea, but this is your time to step it up a notch, right? Yeah. This, this is your time. Now, Andrew has said this many, many times too. You haven't lost just because they didn't take your idea. No, you're still in the game. This particular idea maybe wasn't a right fit, but you know what you've done? You've established a relationship with this company you've submitted an idea to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why yeah. Is so that a good you, thing? It, well, I mean, if you if you call thirty companies and twenty five aren't interested, you didn't you didn't mess up with those twenty five companies. If you have another, let's say it's a medical device, another medical device, you're right back in there with those twenty five companies. You've got a name, email, a name of the person, um, phone number. And, and you say, you, you should say this, I, I realize this one isn't the right match for you, but if I have ideas in the future, and is that okay? Can I send them to you? And if they saw the first one, 95, 98% of them are going to say sure. Yeah. Um, and then for the other five, let's say five show interest, 
you're going to talk with them and try to move it forward. Maybe four fall off and you end up doing a deal with one. But yeah, we do push our students in most cases to do 10, 20, 30, usually on the, the side of 30 companies. Most people, Stephen, when they're on their own, they'll call like three or four and they'll get a certain type of response from one or two of them and they'll make these broad assumptions that this is how it always is. And, and, it, and it's just feeling vulnerable, not having put yourself out there. And it's, it's too small of a sample size of experience to be making any assumptions with a few companies. Okay, so this is your moment to become a pro, is that when you get that rejection letter, right, look at it a little differently, see how you can be creative, get the feedback, go back to the company. You know what happens in their eyes, you became a pro too. That's right. what happened. You went from, hey, I've got this idea to, hey, I'm in here, I'm gonna come back with another idea, thanks for reviewing it, any feedback? Thank you very much. You just became an asset to these, com to these companies. Right, right, and, that, and, they, and they'll make them wanna say yes to receiving more ideas, but Stephen, I would suggest that we change what we call that. We don't call it a rejection letter. We call it a not interested in this particular product letter, which just means it's just this product but then you ask for feedback. They say, well, we don't like this or that. We love it, but we think the price is gonna to be too high. You're like, hmm, well, if I fix that, can I come on back? And you come on back two weeks later with a lower price version or whatever the issue is. But it's a not interested in this particular product letter instead that, of a rejection that, letter. That's all it means. And you guys, one yeah. last thing. You only truly fail at anything in life is when you quit. So don't, just remember that, whatever you're doing, Whatever, whatever obstacles are in your way, look at it this way. You only fail if you quit. Yeah. So just don't quit. There you go. And we're going to wrap it up, but I have to say that the reason why our InventRight students are successful is because they don't quit. They keep moving forward. You know, when you have your idea, you're up in your own head. When you get it out to companies, like Steven's talking about, that's when you're in the game. And so it's more about that than having great ideas. And I've said this before, Steve, I put my money on an inventor that had eh, okay ideas and did that work over an inventor that had an amazing idea but didn't do that work to get in front of companies any day. They're going to license that product before that brilliant inventor because they're willing to do that work. Um, anyway, okay, so hope you guys enjoy the show down below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Um, I know a lot of you get our email newsletter, and that's a reminder to watch the show. Oh, try to help oh, us get our numbers oh. up by subscribing to it, too. Oh, 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 oh. Don't forget <laughs> to watch David Fidawa's new InventRight coaching YouTube channel. He's yeah. going to be answering a lot of questions. You guys, there's so many questions. We cannot get to all of them. So we brought on David. Check it out. Subscribe to his channel, too. He's going to give you great information. Excellent, excellent. Take care. Keep inventing, everybody. We'll catch up with you in the next show. See ya. Bye.